five minute mark, at which time it will come back to the fully retract position. Now T minus one hour, 28 minutes, 52 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy launch control. Also going on at this time are some computer checks with the launch vehicle. These computer checks will be run continuously throughout the final portion of the countdown to ensure that the ground computers are communicating properly with the computers aboard the space vehicle. The launch crew had been having some problems with the vent valve in the first stage of the liquid oxygen tank. As mentioned earlier, the liquid oxygen, as it does boil off, is vented to the atmosphere. One of these vent valves appeared to be sticking. That problem now does appear to be solved as it has been brought closed. Now, T-minus one hour, 19 minutes, eight seconds. You need more air? This is Kennedy Launch Control. Come on, rookie, park that thing. Ten feet. Capture. That's it. Talk back is Barbara Paul. Go ahead and retract. Provide you with the appropriate background music. So, uh, hit it there, Fredo. Hello, Ron. I was just a lad of ten. My father said to me... Well, folks, let's head on down to the lunar excursion module. Follow me. Now, when we get ready to land on the moon, Fred Hayes and I will float through this access tunnel into the lunar module. Leaving spacecraft will remain connected. Well, folks, as uh, you can probably tell, the Aquarius isn't much bigger than a couple of telephone booths. The uh, skin of the limb in some places is only as as thick as a couple of uh, layers of tin foil, and that's all that protects us from the vacuum of space. For flight in outer space. Red Hayes, Renaissance man. Okay, we're, uh, we're about to close out the Aquarius and uh, return to the Odyssey. Our next broadcast will be from Frau Mora on the surface of the moon. Roger that. A report of uh, two good drogues coming up now for main shoots. Uh, 
That's four minutes standing by. Standing by for confirmation of uh, main shoots. Out of the uh, Houston, do you read? following months, it was determined that a damaged coil built inside the oxygen tank sparked during our cryostir and caused the explosion that crippled the Odyssey. It was a minor defect that occurred two years before I was even named the flight's commander. Fred Hayes was going back to the moon on Apollo 18. And as for me, the seven extraordinary days of Apollo 13 were my last in space. 